Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. So today I am working on our chicken feeder. Uh, I made this chicken feeder some years ago. And probably what? About six years, maybe longer ago. Anyway. And all it is is a um, trash can. And then plastic trash cans. Uh, and then this here, I think, yeah, three inch elbow. And I put, uh, um, what, six in here? Yeah, there's six on there. Six. Um, kind of cleaning it up and I need to fix it. But uh, what I did was I cut, uh, cut a hole in the side. All the way around to fit my pipe. Cut holes all the way around to fit my pipe. All right, I cut uh, cut the end straight from here. I cut it straight in about halfway, and then I cut it off the rest of the way with my saza or vibrating saw, whatever you call it, <laughs> reciprocating saw. That's it. Anyway. And then um, I just take it and this one's got a screw in it. Just slide it in there, push it down in there. And on the inside, I put a four by four down in there. And what I've been doing is I actually screw through into this four by four to hold them in place so they don't fall out. Because when I first put it together, I was like, oh, this kind of falls apart. But, uh, I can dump a uh, 50 pound bag in there. Actually, I could probably put um, a bag and a half in here. So if I like go somewhere, I have it. But, uh, and that's why we did it actually was so that when we left to go to our daughter's house in Arizona, we could just dump it in here and then for pre, uh, person taking care of our animals didn't really have to work too hard at taking care of our chickens. So, makes it kind of nice. Plus I only have to fill it about every two weeks. Actually, with the number of birds I got now, I only have to fill it every once a month. But uh, I got two of these. And I made them both exactly the same because we have two coops. One there, one right there, and they're side by side. And they're both built identical. And that's how we did it. Well, we're out here in the barn. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. We are out here in the barn today, and it is in very serious need, and we have a chicken in the corner. Over here are sitting, uh, probably sitting eggs. She must be, because she would have moved by now. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can see her. Let me see. There she is. She must be sitting eggs. So anyway, we are trying to clean out most of this barn because it is in very serious need of some cleaning up. We are generally lazy farmers concerning this sort of stuff but anyway uh, we've borrowed the tractor again and we've got this clean out going on and we are taking it right out to the garden and my horse is very curious he wants to know exactly what we think we're doing hello Kaya hello how are you Yes, you're my pretty boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. His Kaya has lost weight this winter, and he is an older horse, so we are concerned. So, um, if you have any special put the weight back on ideas, please, please put your ideas in the comments. Um, we would appreciate that so much. 
this this is where the garden is supposed to be and already we have sheep issues <laughs> we'll have to get them out of here see them coming out the garden Jacob's walking them out now yep we had quite a few sheep over here investigating already shoot the you <laughs> And we, it, I know it looks like a, a garbage heap over here, but there's actually method to our madness. A lot of these bottles we use for bottle watering and things in the garden, and that tub had been the uh, place for them. Well, Daniel moved the tub with the forklift and sat it down, and it just didn't sit down exactly the way he thought it would. But, yeah. So there it is, bucket by bucket. We are taking it, he's taking it over to my garden, which is just past Jacob's little hut. And here is our little Miss Amy, and she's getting in trouble already but this morning, somewhat. And Kaya is, of course, he's the manager of the whole thing. Yes, of course. Let's see, there, uh, he doesn't look bad, but I just, I've never seen him quite this low weight, I don't think. So, so I'm thinking we've got to do something a little bit more for him and nutrition wise. And so we'll probably put him on some greener grasses somewhere. I said, we're just gonna watch this side of the barn and guide this tractor in close to the wall he's wanting to come on the other side with that bucket and uh, and pull some of this hay back out of here that hay back out hopefully and what he's finding is that being a little bit difficult because he's getting okay okay well that's that's pretty good Barn clean today. Man, what a mess we have in this barn! So I'm so glad we're finally getting to it. what he thought it was going to. Okay. Ooh, but he's trying to just kind of drag some of this out. And we have left all the strings in our hay bales as we've gotten them. And that is proving to not be such a good decision. So, I think from now on, we will be cutting the strings. Man, man. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. In, in our mess cleaning up here. <laughs> and he may 
may be getting it to the point, he just may be getting it to the point that he can actually get some of this up and get it out to the garden now. I don't know. Or he may be coming back in. <laughs> I guess. Your guess is as good as mine. This is the first time we've ever gotten a tractor and decided to try and clean out the, the barn with the tractor. So. Now we did not build our barn the traditional way with a big door on each side. And so that makes it a little bit harder because there's a wall over here. And this was our first barn build. And so, you know, we may build an improved barn later. As you can see, the roof didn't go in exactly the way it should have. And we have a few f uh, fun little areas in this barn to deal with. <laughs> well, while this is a lot better than it started out, I don't think it's finished at all. Of course, you can't leave that big old hole in the center of the barn where you dug up. So, I guess the rest of it is by hand. That's about as good as you can get it by the tractor. Well, it's barn, time, barn yard nap time. Here are the babies. And the only one standing is Kai, and he'll be laying down soon too once all this tractoring goes. But uh, most of the sheep are just getting ready for their little naps. <laughs>